I think that for most of my life, if somebody said, like, describe archaeology, all I would picture is like somebody with like a little brush getting dinosaur bones out. But this is next level. Like, this is very cool the way things are done now. But we've mostly been talking about stuff over water. Are these same like remote sensing tools used over land too? Yeah, yeah, um, they, they are. It's And I, I have like several land-based projects. One in Romania that's identifying burial mounds. And you can use this, like, the same methodology. You have to have a different type of imagery. So instead of, like, multi-beam sonar, LIDAR, or some kind of you know, color imagery, multispectral or hyperspectral imagery specifically. But I think what machine learning really adds is it's a really, like, comprehensive and efficient way of surveying in places that maybe have never been surveyed before. And then the results of the machine learning model can help the boots-on-the-ground archaeologists to go and make their time on the ground really efficient by just going to where the machine learning model has made predictions and going from there with your more traditional archaeology.